Hey guys, it's Tori and I'm here right now with Broadside. How's it going guys? Yeah, it's how going. Are it's, how are you? I'm wired. Mostly because I'm here with you guys. Also because I've had a lot of coffee today. And you've just finished Black Mirror. Oh my god, I did actually just finish really? Black Mirror. Yeah. Mind reader, did you guys, did you see it? Oh, we I dabble. Didn't, I, didn't, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't dabble in Black Mirror. I, I binge watched Altered Carbon and oh, I finished it yesterday. Oh, it was nuts. I don't have enough paranoia left in me to give to yeah. another it's, show like it that. It is so. very Black Mirror-esque. Yeah. So what you're in saying is, unless I want to ruin my life, I shouldn't mm. watch it. Yeah, mm, yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> what's the fun in not doing that? You yeah. just, why are you alive if it's you're not going to ruin your life? <laughs> That was profound. Well, Thank you. I mean, <laughs> a Alexander Graham Bell once said that. So Four Loco, no, sponsor he, me. That's right. <laughs> Alexander four said Four Loco is the jam. Anyway, uh, <laughs> on that note, let's start some finish the sentence questions because cool. we're off to a great start. Yes. Um, so one song you've been listening to on repeat right now is? Mic Drop by BTS. Mm. Candy Paint by Post Malone. Mm. Blood, Sweat, Tears by BTS. Yeah. All right. We're K-popers. Yeah, we're K-pop <laughs> BTS. What about There's you? something I definitely didn't know about you guys. You know, New Ask and Alexandria album has oh. been on my radar. Nice. Yeah. That, I'm Ask a fan. Ask that, Alexandria. Ask we're out. Me, what did she say? <laughs> Ask, we're out. Ask. Mic drop. But let's not actually drop nice, this mic. Nice, because that's expensive. Yeah, Alexandria we don't drop this mic. What the fuck are you asking her is my question. Um, one thing you look forward to when you're home from tour is... Oh my god. A home-cooked meal. Yeah. Yeah. I actually I second that. I yeah. every time I come home from a uh, tour, I always no matter what time it is, like four in the afternoon or whatever, I'll make like eggs. We be cooking. True. Eggs. Eggs, ma? eggs. You got eggs. Eggs for dinner. I, it makes no sense, but that's I don't like fuck with that's eggs. kind of, that's my routine at this point. So are you guys the kind of band where when you're in a new city, you go find like the nice, cool restaurants, come or are you just fast food all yeah. the time? We ain't broke. I mean, yeah. we are, but like well, we, we always seek out. We like happycow.com. We be we be cultured in this band. Indian food, Chinese Ooh, food, Slim Thai gyms. food, Slim Jims, chopped up with onions on top. It's usually, it's usually fast food on Gas the drives, but food. when we get to the cities, we True. try to no, yeah, yeah, look yeah. for a real French restaurant. fry boys in the van. But once we hit the spot, it's Thai food and it's, Vietnamese. It's, food. it's either it's either it's one of the two. So either one of us goes like, oh, I hear there's a really good spot in this city, we should hit it, or it's like someone catches like a Panera, mm -hmm. and we're like. Dude, there's a Panera there. And we're like, oh, and everyone in the van yells, and we just go to Panera. Look at this. Can I get a, every a tall time bagel good. sliced and toasted with a side of peanut peanut butter peanut and a fucking grigio. Peanut butter. Side of peanut. Peanut butter. <laughs> it's really. Anyways, good. take it's, two. Yeah. All right. Next question. Your your go-to best pickup line is. Yo, like, um, do you read, do you read books? That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Me too. If I was there right now, what would we be reading? <laughs> I'm just playing. Please tell me someone else has something better. Next. Excuse me, that works. A hundred percent of the ninety-nine percent of the time. Uh, my pickup line is, "Hey, what's Look up?" Face. I hate everyone. True. Ladies love that shit. Hey, what's up? I'm miserable. Like, I'm like, I don't. I, and yo. then everyone's just like, "Oh yeah, same, same." I'm miserable. Well, and they're like, it's true. Every person hates every person. Oh no, you go like this, yo. That highlight looks good. That's true. That gets them every time. All right, Pat. I, I, I really like your like brows. The green. Brows. If you compliment a girl's brows or highlight, you're set. There. there you that's go. the answer. Um, and last one here. Craziest mishap that's ever happened on tour. We played a hometown show. Uh, oh, I remember. We. It was. It was. It was in Richmond. It was in Richmond, Virginia. And uh, yeah, yeah. It's not very good. I. I got roofied mm -hmm. at the show. Yep. And luckily, I had tons of friends around me. They took care of me. I, I woke up in my own bed at 3 in the afternoon, and I was like, hey, what happened? I had to uh, fireman he, carry he him. fireman yeah. carried me from the merch table. Into a friend's yeah. car. I had, I had two drinks, and, and my life ended. You should never do that. It was really scary. Just have a conversation with me. If you really want to kidnap him. Wanna, <laughs> That's just not. That's just. I don't know if a conversation's gonna work there, for kidnapping. There's, there's but, tons of things in this world that are cool. Playing. That's yeah. definitely not one of those things. Yeah. So don't do that anymore. Cool. But yeah, fuck you. Anyway. <laughs> and this has been a PSA with Broadside. Yeah. Yep.
not a fan of that at all. Um, well, on a brighter note, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I really don't know how to transition from that. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's what I, I felt bad about sharing that no, because no. it was so But I think weird. it's an important message. It is, it's important. Yeah. So uh, speaking of important messages, uh, let's talk about your album, Paradise, that's oh. out now. Yes, let's, um, let's do that. Yes, let's do that. Um, so this is kind of the album that I feel like the first time I listened to it, I was like, damn, Broadside's coming into their own. They've hey. sort of found themselves in their own sound, you know? I would agree. Um, and you've differentiated yourselves from other pop punk bands with this album, I think, that's which true. is kind of a big thing for a genre that's kind of known for just all sounding the same. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> what characteristics of the album do you think sort of led you guys to differentiate yourselves from other bands? What do you think makes you stand out? We like, um, you know, I don't like to talk shit on other bands, and so that's not what we're going to do. But I will say this. Uh, we just wanted to put shit that we like into, you know what I'm saying? Like, we love our first album, but then we kind of grew and we progressed. We were like, yo, let's put our weird interests together. And me and Dorian got together and we were like, let's just do, put our weird ADHD into a record. And shit that we like, let's put it together. So we got like Ari a song modeled after Ariana Grande. Yep. Um, we got like a ukulele song. We just like yeah. Yeah. romance and deep lyrics and we like kind of, we kind of expanded what we felt was our sound, you know, and, and we took we took risks and, and challenges. You know, like if you're doing something that doesn't scare you a little bit then you're not doing it right. Yeah. You know? So oh, boy. That was, yeah. Tumblr, whoa. That really yeah. is. You could put that's on my Tumblr right now. I don't have one, but it's on there. You can find paradise in so many different forms. You can find like True. happiness and within the misery and you need both to coincide, the yin and the yang kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. And, it's kind of like if you don't know the lows, you can't appreciate the highs. Exactly. Tumblr quote number two of the interview, yeah. right? Yeah, that's your that's your header. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's my header. Yeah, my I also way. don't have a Tumblr, but if I did... You should make one, yeah. Tori yeah. Tumblr. It's true. Tori Tumblr. <laughs> but, and the thing is, too, I feel like online, you see bands getting compared to other bands all the time. Like, oh, so-and-so sounds like so-and-so. Mm -hmm. So are there any bands that you're tired of Broadside getting compared to? I, I don't know about tired, but we definitely get compared to... We get compared to stage champs a lot. Yeah. And that's you have and that's one fun. grit in your voice, and they try to do you dirty, bro. That's I fine. swear to God. Because we like that band. Yeah. They're honestly, awesome. I'm flattered. So like, and like, whatever. um, Pink. Pink. <laughs> a lot of Ray Charles, Disturbed. Yeah, I could totally see the Gwyneth resemblance Paltrow. there. Paltrow. Like, I'm sick of this. Shit. Leonardo da Vinci. <laughs> Leonardo. Like, Bob honestly, Bob like, it's Bob offensive. Ross. Bob Ross. Beethoven. A ton of Bob like, Ross. honestly, Beethoven. <laughs> Stop comparing Broadside to Beethoven. Yeah, I'm sick of y'all. Y'all need to get off the internet and go yeah, get a job. Good. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Yeah. Shout out my man Beethoven. He's killing it these days. Yeah. Yeah. Right. He's, really He's on that come up. He right. That new album, so sick. Yeah. Yo, the B sides yeah. was. Cherito, number 24, and B minor. And then. Hey, he's working with Lil Xan right now. <laughs> That's why all his beats be sounding intro. <laughs> no, wait, my dream collaboration, it's happening right yeah. there. So wait, for anybody who hasn't heard Broadside yet, which song do you think on the new album is like the perfect representation of the band that new listeners should check out as that first impression? I'll say we got two. All right, okay. I'm gonna say Hidden Colors, because okay. that live, vibrant, fun, flirty, cool, deep lyrics, and then laps maybe. Because we're like sad as fuck. We try to just put a, a ton of different really deep and a, a eccentric flavors in a cake and then just give it like a really I nice icy cake. type of to like topping that people will look at and be like, yeah, that's a nice looking cake. But then like once you cut into it, it's oh, kind of nice. Like, oh, so many layers. This is like an ogre. Yeah. Like it's a like beautiful, like yeah. the onion and Shrek. Yeah. Oh my God. Hey, ogres Shrek are like onions. Is, man, so I many love metaphors. Shrek. We just went from a cake to an onion in like two seconds. I said we was artsy, man. Um, and another thing that I actually really respect about you guys is you've been really good about keeping your personal lives just personal yeah. online. Um, you don't share too much, but at the same time, there are a lot of bands that do that. You know, yeah. they post a lot all the time. So how important is your social media persona for the, your career? And how do you think that's played a role in the band? It's mad important to me. And I think that I, um, I started realizing like the little bit of power that you have with um, being on the internet and just having a social media presence. Like, there's a lot of people out there who will fake a personality to get people to like them, and that's why they be laying in their beds at night all lonely as fuck because they forget who they are. And I don't even care if that's offensive to people because like we got too many people out here selling manipulated dreams to people just so they'll watch their stupid ass videos and shit like that when they're bad people. Just at me next time. No, Not you. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about with these like. They'll be like, as soon as that camera goes down, they're like, Logan, <laughs> Logan Paul. I don't even. They, they, they don't even text their mamas. They just be like, act out here acting like they're living. Up. Anyways, I digress. <laughs> but with us, we like to keep it low key. We're older. There's too many people that like to put all their stuff out online. But like, honestly, some of the best shit in the world is having something to go home to. That's your life, your private life, and people stuff that people need to know. 
they'll know. And um, I know that makes us sound like we're villains or something, but like we just, we're boring, but like we got our own shit going on and I'm just trying to figure life out. So I don't want people to be like, damn, he's trying to figure life out. I love it if people listening to us would be like, they're grinding and I can relate to that because really at the end of the day, that's all that matters to me. But um, So you'd say that everything that we do see online that was very genuine coming from you guys yeah. is sort of what I'm taking away. That's yeah. our yeah. most, I, absolute. Yeah, because yeah. I think that especially in this day and age, in this climate, like that's that's what people latch on to. Like kids and people and humans are so fucking smart now. They see like a fake persona going, what's up guys, it's YouTube. When, when there's someone like playing a video game online and they sell it to you like that, I'm just like, there's just nothing there. They're just like, they're just showcasing yeah. it. It's just a car salesman yeah. trying to give you a piece of shit. People always like, oh, they, they're pretty boys. They want to be this, that, this, that. And it's like, okay, you know, yeah, my mama made us. We, our mama's made us right. But at the end of the all day, All of like, you? Your mom made all of yeah. you? We're bros. Huh? Like Kings yeah. of Leon. Yeah. 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 Full, but, we're, full disclosure, we're related. We still punk rock. And so, like, we want to keep it factual, but we also want to kind of glam it up a little, and that's it. And you guys are on tour right now, so we're yeah, seeing yeah. Tonight Alive picturesque tour. Um, what's coming up after this that fans can look forward to? Okay. We will just announce Slam so Dunk. We announced, yes. yeah, we announced Slam Dunk in the UK. Mm -hmm. We announced Galaxy, Galaxy Camp Galaxy in Champs Europe and, with State yeah. Champs, Real Friends, Knuckle Puck. State Champs, huh? Uh, oh, yeah. They're the new. <laughs> you heard of them? There's no way for us to play during them. <laughs> yeah, no yeah, we like can't. Which is why we like during Warp Tour, when we look at the shit, we're like, we clash state champs, broadside, we're, we're like, well, we're fucked. So oh. that's fine. Like eighty percent of the time. That's okay. Oh, that's fine. Love you, Kevin. Um, <laughs> and then uh, trash boats on it, and that that's that's really that's cool. We just announced our first ever oh, yeah, yeah. headliners in the UK today. Hey, yes. congrats yeah, on that. That's awesome. You. Pretty yeah, big deal for us. It's gonna be really fun. It's uh, uh, with <laughs> milestones and homebound. Also, yeah. our very first UK headliner day. Yeah, really so we're trying to sell that out so we could be like, yo, we sold out London. And people are like, damn, we gotta get those guys famous. <laughs> wow. And yeah, so for anybody so. who does want to keep up on social media to get all the real facts and real information on the internet, where can they follow you guys? Um, I'm going to fall off this cliff real Please quick. Don't. But, um, Please don't do that. Broadside underscore on Twitter. Broadside official on Insta. Yes. Oliver Baxter with two X's. Wait. <laughs> Your Instagram, Bob, bro. My Instagram is uh, <laughs> Dorian Enrique is mine. Pat X Diaz. Pat X Diaz on everything. <laughs> Give you genuine news. We're not going to hit you with the, hey guys. Smash the absolute shit out of that like button if you want to see me put hot sauce <laughs> in my fucking eyeball. It's, it's almost like you knew how I was going to end this interview. It's just like you knew. I well, mean, we guessed. It's on your script. <laughs> it's, it's on my script. Yeah, she All has right, guys, it written right here. To 100,000 likes. I know we can do it. 100,000 likes. Subscribe for more videos. Check out Broadside Paradise. Real quick, this company <laughs> sent me this shirt. And, like, you don't have to buy it. But buy it. It says Dragon Ball Z. But it makes it you Dragon it makes you sexy. Discount code. <laughs> and if you use my code Big Buff Dude and a fucking big T and he's at his little body and he has no insurance, 20. use my code 20. <laughs> well on that note, I'll leave it at that. See you guys. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> Yo. <laughs>